Hey, my name is Edda Boy, and in this video, I'll be showing how to create your own animated GIF. Yes, that's how I pronounce it. So, let's get started with um, Inkscape to create the images I will be using for the animation. So, we open Inkscape. Make sure you save your file as soon as you get started because Inkscape has a, a history of crashing. It's a free software, so it's expected. So, uh, yeah, with that, we'll Try to draw a shape, give it a color that's a bit off white so we can still see it. Mm, maybe something darker. Yeah, I think this is better. Alright, now go to the text tool. And let's type first alphabet I. Then you go to this um, font panel and try to make some adjustments. I'll change the font to my brand font Lapsus Pro. It's a free font. I will increase the size. It nothing will take it better to hit apply. And then you get the results. Okay, let's try to center that. Make sure it's on last selected so you can uh, place it and align it with the um, object in the back. Okay, let's change the alignment of the text to it should not be visible. You see it when we go to the next frames to edit on hit duplicate duplicate sorry or just hit a ctrl d to duplicate that image with the both um, object selected drag it make sure it's in line by holding ctrl and then we double tap again on the eye and type love okay that's good enough just select the both objects again and Ctrl D to duplicate. Then we we'll drag holding control. Perfect. Okay. So we we'll double tap again and type another text. Hit enter and type U. That's it. We're done. Now let's zoom out and try to group all of them into individual groups so we can export easily. Select, go to object and group, or just Ctrl G again. The shortcuts are very useful. Saves time. Ctrl G and Ctrl G again. All right, now go to export to PNG. Make sure it's on selection. Make sure it's on selection. So we'll go and select the first um, image, then give it a name. I'll just name it one. Since we are going to name as frames later on, name it one. That's frame one. Saved, and then we'll go to frame two. Export as. Just name it two. Save. And repeat the same thing again the third time. Three save. All right. We are done with Inkscape. Let's go to the main software for today, which is um, Photoscape. It's a free software. You can go to the link. I'll also place the link in the description. So you can go and check. You can drag your images from this side or much more easy and efficient. You go to that icon and drag it from your Windows Explorer. Drag them one by one in order. And then three. Just like that. Okay, then you hit play to see the animation happen. I love you. Just like that. Now let's make some adjustments to animation. So it has a bit of, um, it's a bit more interesting. Let's change the time for the first frame. You can read the instructions underneath. 100 is a one second. So I'll make it 50 so it's half a second you can decide to take this effect on all of the um, frames or just one but i'll use it for just one so we did them individually and repeat the same thing again make this one 50 again and then the longest one will be last image of course so people will get the time to read the message better of course, you can do this any, with any image. I'm just using this to show you to make it easier. And then, yeah, we can 
change the effect how you want the animation to um, happen let me slide up slide down slide left right yeah have a few animations here that you can try out i'll just leave it with a no effect because that suits this um, image better now we'll go ahead and hit save yeah and we'll give it a name i love you animated great hit save and hit ok so yeah we are done creating a gif and just one thing it might not work when you open it with um, the windows image explorer immediately so we'll use a fast tone image viewer that works in viewing the image very well so yeah i think that covers it for this tutorial um subscribe to the channel like the video and share hope to see you again in the next tutorial thank you bye bye